Okay, one, two, three. And today I will teach you how to play Santorini. I, my mom and I really enjoy playing this game. And the the goal of the game is to have one of your workers to stand on a th three story building. This game requires a lot of strategy, and it's it's mainly for two players. And usually a game can take between 10 to 30 minutes. As you can see, the board and the pieces are really, are really nice and really well made. First step to set up the game is to choose whether or not you want to play with God powers, which are these guys. Next, you choose the color of your workers. So, well, this is them, we'll just choose blue, and then my opponent will choose white. Okay? And then, you cannot, you cannot place your workers on, on a space that is already claimed by another worker. And if you choose to, to, to use God powers, you make sure to check the instructions booklet, which is here, to see what your god powers can do. Mm -hmm. Also, I suggest for your few, for the first few games to to choose god powers with a flower in the bottom right corner because they are easier to use. Play, you take turns building and moving. There are two actions, move and build. You always need to move first. Choose one of your two workers to move and you can only move them in one eight spaces around them, so, like the, here. And you cannot, you cannot move your feet, your character into another worker. Uh, you can move them up one story. You cannot move them up two stories, or you cannot move into a space of the dome. Your second action is to build. You can build it anywhere around the worker you moved in one of these eight spaces. However, you must build the base on the ground like this, and on the gr and on the ground you must you can. And on this base, you can put the second floor. And on the second floor, you can put the third floor. Which means if if you move onto it, you can win. But there's a counter. If you if your opponent uh places a dome onto the third floor, you can no longer get onto the third floor. And now let's give some examples of how to play the game. It's finally time to play. I'm going to be playing with my mom without god powers so you can understand the basic rules. Okay, I'm going to be blue. I'll be gray. Here and here. Okay, uh, I guess I'm going first. So the first step is you move? Yes, and then building. So on the ground, put the base. Okay, I'll go next. I'll climb up there and build. And then I'm going to climb here and build again. Um, I'm going to cross over and build here. Okay. Time to build again. Okay. And I am going to go up here. And build here. Well, I am surprised you didn't move up here. It's All time right. to win. I'll move up here. No. Here. Okay. Um. I guess I can. Hmm. I'm gonna move this one here and build the base. Okay. And I'll uh, move here and this one. Okay, well, I'm gonna move him. Where? This guy can move everywhere.
anywhere. Oh no. So I'm just gonna. So, oh, he's there. Oh. So here, and I'm going to build here. Okay. I'm gonna climb up. And. What? Okay. Oh, um, here. And then. Uh, build here. We're just building a massive city with lots of. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna move here. And Are you gonna finally place the third floor? Yes. Thank you. Done. I win. So we just played the game without god powers, so you can understand the basic rules of the of games of the game. And but there are many god powers to choose from, so which make the game games e different every time. For example, Celine will just well, can put domes on any layer, which will stop your opponents from go climbing up. And another one, Artemis allows you to move twice. Amazing. It's different every time.